YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil. I'm here with yet another crazy pickup. Well, actually, the last of uh, of the pickup colorways that I wanted for this particular shoe. Quite sure y'all already see on the title and everything. I forgot the title's not up there no more. I'm thinking about the old, old YouTube, like, what is that, 0506? Anyway, the title down there now. So, yeah, anyway. Um, Man, it's just crazy. I was just looking at my metallic, my Jordan Metallic 5. Uh, like, is it really worth being like 220? And man, you drop a video disagreeing with like what everybody else saying, man. <laughs> it's crazy. And the more and more I'm starting to realize it, like, man, you really got to be a unique person to be subscribed to Goodfella Nail, man. I'm telling you, you have to really be. Because, like, if you really like hype beasts, like, for real, like, like on some Jordan hype beast stuff, you probably hate my fucking channel. I don't care though, you know what I mean? Um, so, and just to clear all that up, I always still like the Black Metallic 5, of course, and this is my 2011 version, so the shoe is clean. They was just overcharging y'all dumbasses that's, that's putting the, that's hating the video. But, I understand, it's 7 billion people on Earth, and it's probably about 5 billion people on the internet. Give or take, you know, you still got to factor in a little niche sneaker community we in or whatever. And then, too, I'm not the most popular or whatever, so whatever. I don't give a fuck if I was the most popular. i still be saying the stuff that I'm saying now. So, uh, hey, man. And you know what? Now I think about it, uh, I actually could have got the Metallic 5s for 2016 for like 20 bucks off. Because now I think about it, my finish line rewards card uh, is actually 20 bucks off. So if I really wanted them joints, now I'm thinking about it, you know. But I'm just saying that that price wasn't right for that shit, man. Oh, also, too, uh, thanks also for leaving thumbs up for my other video, too. Um, uh, what's the one? Yeah, I'm talking about don't let sneaker, the sneaker culture consume you. Don't let uh, the fashion culture consume you and all that stuff. My bad, y'all, on, like, kind of giving y'all a little delay. If this y'all first time looking at my channel and y'all found me, found my channel through like uh searching for these kicks my bad on that y'all but like you know i i just like to give my people uh my my loyal subscribers like a catch up on what i've been doing and just like to keep them updated like you know i'm rocking with y'all and i'm reading y'all comments and stuff like that and i'm paying attention to the stats and stuff you know like even last year when i said the cigar and champagne sevens like just really i think they could have did a little bit better you know motherfuckers want to dislike that you know i got a few likes or whatever you know but it is what it is. My video's still up. You know, I don't I don't care. It could, it could be, you know, a hundred people not liking with or whatever I'm saying. You know what I mean? You know, see, that's the thing, too, before I get into this review. That's the thing, too. People be wanting real YouTubers and real reviews and shit. A lot of people, see, real is too cliche and all that and all that shit. You know what I mean? A lot of people be like, oh, I want a real person, a real YouTuber, real this, this, that. The only thing y'all do is just Jordans and all that. Then you finally get somebody like me that come along and that say what's real and stuff. And there's no diss to the people that, that's agreeing with me or whatever. But these 10 people, these probably about fly-by viewers. That's what I like to call them. Because when I drop a video, I know I probably get like 30 to 50 views or whatever out of my subscriber count. And that's normal or whatever, right? But, like, I know no 400 people. I don't even got 400 subscribers, so I know over 400 people ain't watch that Metallic 5 video. So, yeah. And also, too, it went the same way with the Cigar uh, and Champagne Sevens. You know what I mean? Like, the shoe cool, but, you know, if you can get it for, like, 130 120 or something like that a piece, that's worth it. You know what I mean? I might actually go and pick up on it since I actually do, like, Sevens. But, you know, I just feel like that shit didn't even warrant the price. Like... How the, why the fuck is you defending these people? If y'all don't work for the brand, then shut the fuck up, man. You know what I mean? And then y'all not even putting no input down there. You know, you had one little boy that said, oh, it's, it's, it's not Dura, it's not Dura Buck, it's New Buck. Man, I think so many people are so confused with, like, how they... Hold on real quick before I get off into it. I think so many people confused with how many, like, whatever or whatever. Like, I'm saying this. You can see your fingerprint on here do you see the long hair on that i should have had this shoe in my video when i made it do that with the 2016 when you can't you fucking can't but anyway i'm i'm done with that so uh and thanks for everybody that's been whatever looking commenting liking or whatever i'm still standing firm behind my beliefs lower the cost of the fucking shoe 
that's it that's final so i end up getting the last of the bog puma sock core triple black one of my subscribers actually got an all black joint man and i'm like man i need those i need those those was the last ones but these joints right here I actually got from finish line i used my ten dollar discount at finish line got these for like 30 bucks plus tax definitely worth it and they look like nice little puma feet you know what i mean like nice little panther feet and stuff and if you look at that even look at that it, like when i put these on these actually look like Lux dress shoes i wore all black outfit and everything you know what i mean i think i probably had on and then i had switched it up with a navy blue t-shirt but anyway on feet these look crazy um and they look like you can step out in these lightweight and still be sporty and you can still get away with it definitely one of my top kicks of this year and i know for damn sure this this model alone definitely gonna make my top 10 list might be top five man don't be surprised man classic clean fresh and if y'all didn't see my other reviews on this shoe basically it's all the same thing you know I, i'm not you know ain't no, ain't no point of going into the specs the only thing that's different is just the color but this triple black joint yes 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 and to and to uh top all that off <clears throat> you know i don't like to half ass my people also i got the uh damn i see i didn't even know that got on there also got the cream white ones too definitely fly also got the all red joints the octobers red octobers not even a hype shoe as a matter of fact go check macy's website macy's actually sell these um actually got these for a deal inside the u.s it came up to like 54 bucks shipped. Um, also on eBay, it was $60 shipped. So hey, pick your poison. Definitely worth it. This is not a hype kick. This is just sitting. It's random. I'm surprised it wasn't even on the finish line website. But looking at all three of them, crazy, crazy fresh, man. What's your favorite out of them, man? That real one definitely looking like powder red candy right now. You know that powder red Kool-Aid from back in the day when you was a kid, you used to lick it out of your hand. You know, that was back in the day, back in that was my back in the day when I was a little little dude. And then the cream red, triple white, I mean cream red, the triple white and uh a little bit of off-white, classic, clean, all that. Now that I see these shoes together like this, man, um I just wish they could have put to make it a little bit more luxe, a little touch of henna more luxe, just put gold up at the top of the tongues, you know, um, color the uh, Puma lettering and the Puma's image, the Puma uh, symbol, you know, with the cat right here. That I wish that was gold and this was gold and like that square was like gold. You don't got to make the whole damn thing gold, but you know what I mean. And to make it just give it a little touch more luxe. But nevertheless, though, I'm not complaining. Got a crazy steal for these, crazy deal. And I'm going to just show you guys the kicks before I get up out of here, each one by one. You know, and like I said, if you want a separate review on each one, obviously this is the black one. And you, if, you, if you've been a subscriber of mine or whatever, you already know about this shoe anyway. You know, I've been reviewing this shoe like crazy. Um, and you see my previous three or whatever, that's cool. Uh, but if you knew and you want to see what the other colors look like, Go check that out as well. You know, you probably might not even know. You probably might not, not even knew that the other colors existed. But, uh, yeah. So, from my knowledge, like, this is all I've seen was just these three colors. One of them, another color that I want them to put this in is a dark navy. And then they'll just set it all off with that, man. They could end it with that. I don't know. I don't think this is a throwback kick or whatever, like a retro. This just might be something new made up on the spot for today's. Uh, shoes and of course you got the Puma Blaze Glory hybrid right here because the Puma Blaze Glory does have that that kind of like Jordan 4 like strap in a way now this is not a loose wing strap or nothing like that this is actually embroidered in on the shoe and it's also on here um, also simple uh, paneling all along the side and again this black reminds me of a panther foot crazy crazy it looks like a dress shoe when you actually have it on feet and um, I still owe you guys on feet of all three of these shoes. So, uh, for, for the previous two shoes, I'm going to try to do one on this one. Because I know nobody is reviewing this shoe on YouTube, man. That's, and that's why, that's why I know my subscribers fuck with me. I fuck with my subscribers because y'all know I 
y'all get excited when I dig up shit like this and I get it just like me, you know what I mean? So it's not to brag or show off. It's just to say that, you know, <clears throat> you don't always have to pick like super hype kicks and just get what you want, man. Also, too, to my other subscriber, he wanted me to do uh, what's my top five shoes in my collection. I definitely, that one's going to take a little bit because I got to actually, you look at all these damn shoes in the back, man. I got to figure, it's just been so sporadic throughout the year, so. But I'm going to definitely have a top five uh, kicks for mid-year or thus far or whatever um, that I like already, my top five kicks. And, uh, yeah, so. No special effects, just straight to the shoe review. And look at that, man. You know, a shoe running this low is actually in, is in price. You know, it's actually worth it. You you can even do the long hair. You know, you could see your fingers swiping the suede and new buck on this. This is probably just new buck. I don't think it's suede, but it's it's definitely good. Um, <clears throat> another thing too. Oh, also going to the back um, because I know it's switched up on different pairs. Like on the back one here is. Uh, the Puma is white then on this one you got the on the white one you got the black one then obviously on the red one you got the black one as well it's kind of too too red to see but I ain't gonna keep y'all too much longer and it's the white one one more time and then you got the red one and if you want to see these shoes in their own identity and review and stuff and what I think about them go check out their separate reviews on my channel so rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. This nail good fella, good fella nail. More content, more videos on the way. I can't wait to get all this out to y'all. I got more content to put out. Peace.